Well, good morning. Welcome once again to Working. And today we are finally finishing up that giant driveway, that stamped and sand finished driveway that we've been working on for several weeks now. I think after seven pours of sand concrete, two pours of the stamped concrete, we have finally had all the concrete poured. I've been working on cutting, washing, acid washing, and sealing the rest of the driveway. And today, this morning, I'm going to seal the last bit of driveway. I finally washed every bit of it. Everything has been poured, cut, cleaned, washed, prepped. Most of it has been sealed and I'm sealing the last bit. I'm gonna be doing some more stuff today too. We're gonna to start working on a giant garage slab that we'll be pouring soon, but I'm not gonna show you that. I just wanna show you the last little bit of getting this driveway ready and finally show you this completed, crazy, gigantic driveway. So, that's what we're doing today. So many little fawns around this morning. Just deer everywhere in this neighborhood. I can't believe that none of them have run through our concrete yet. But we're safe now, everything's dry, so we don't have to worry. God, there's two here. Are these all this one mother's fawns? There's four fawns here. Are these all yours? Two over here. Hey guys. And two over there. Are these all yours? get so close to deer around here because they're just so used to people. I've got a wide angle on this lens so it looks like I'm further away but I'm probably only like I don't know 25 feet 20 feet away from this deer. Hello mother. I'm literally like six feet away. Hey. What's up? <laughs> it's no fear. Watch for cars, dear. So here we are. The massive massive driveway. Look at this thing. It's indescribably beautiful. So here's the last bit we poured. It has been acid washed, has not been sealed yet, but it looks like it stayed clean, which is nice. And here's everything up here that we've sealed. We've gone through, God, one, two, three, four buckets of sealer so far. So that's 20 gallons. I'm on my last five gallons now. But yeah, that's, <laughs> this, this is just a very big driveway. Many, many pours. In fact, I have all the yardage here, let's see. Yeah, so we've had seven pours of the sand finish, two of the stamp borders. I think we had a total of about six and a quarter yards of concrete for the stamp borders we've had one pour of eight and a half, one of 6.75, one of seven and a quarter, one of nine, one of 8.75. Uh, I'm missing a couple of these sand finish ones, but you know, just seven pours all around. I don't know, anywhere from seven to nine to almost 10 yards for each of those pours. This has just been a massive, huge job. Really impressive looking though. I'm really a fan of how this turned out. Just give you a look. Here's Abby up in the window there, looking out. It's a big one. I 
Everything's looking pretty even. You could go over and over this stuff with the sealer. It kind of soaks into the sand finish a little bit. And you'll get a couple little variations sometimes. That all ends up kind of evening out with a little bit of time. You could end up wasting gallons and gallons of sealer if you just keep trying to go, go over it over and over again. But we just have this last section to do. And that's what I'm going to get started with now. Our leaf blower crapped out on us, so the homeowner has been letting us borrow his, which has been extremely useful. Now, there's one little patch here I might have to reseal right here. I don't like that. There's kind of like an obvious line. But yeah, there's so many pine needles and stuff that keep falling on this. hope I have enough sealer. <laughs> so here's what we use. Deaton Superior Cure and Seal. It's a 25% xylol based sealer. So it's solid suspended in xylene, basically. Uh, this is the good stuff. This is the stuff that lasts. If you are sealing concrete, you don't want to get the water-based stuff that you'll find at Lowe's. It's just not going to last very long at all. And you'll end up resealing every year, probably more than every year. So I'm also resealing this uh, border that we did. I sealed it initially just to protect it from the acid wash that we do. And then it gets kind of you know, as we're washing everything over it, it gets this kind of dull look. And so then we seal it up again. So you just pour on fairly liberally. Might be a little too liberally. My roller has dried, but the xylol cuts xylol. So once you get the sealer on here, this will loosen up the roller. Kind of nice. If I had a new roller, because it would get the nap up and it would get a little easier where it would be a little easier to get it into all these nooks and crannies in this stamped. Since I already have one layer of sealer on this stamp, I'm not too worried about getting it everywhere. I just wanna shine up the surface again a little bit. And you just wanna get it nice and even and fairly thick. Make sure you don't get any dull spots later. I'm going to these seams too because as you're doing it, if you seal one part and you overlap into the other section, no matter how quickly you get the other sealer on. I mean, if it's still really wet, it doesn't matter, but if it dries a little bit, then you'll end up with this kind of overlap look that doesn't look as even. This stuff is rather potent smelling. The homeowner said that the fire department showed up the other day and they got out and we're kind of looking around. There's a trail over in the woods over there. They were wandering around the trail, looking around, and then they knocked on his door and said they were looking for a gas leak because somebody had called and said that they smelled gas. <laughs> they weren't smelling gas, they were smelling the sealer curing out apparently. Because <sighs> I had done a bunch of it the other day. 
This does not smell anything like a gas leak, but they were confused. If you were using this in an enclosed space, you would want a respirator because it is pretty potent. really is that you need to make sure that the concrete is absolutely dry before you put it on because any moisture that gets trapped underneath because it makes such a good seal the moisture will not be able to get out and then it will make the surface all cloudy and milky looking So that is basically the process. Now I just have to do that over here and hope that I have enough sleep. Fingers crossed. Right, here it is. In all its massive glory, this thing is huge. Like I said, nine different pours, dozens of yards of concrete, probably over 20 gallons of sealer, and the giant massive stamped slash sand finished driveway is done. Well, there you go. That was a big driveway and it is finished. So hopefully you enjoyed that look at a job pretty much from start to finish. I didn't show you every single step, but I think you got the general idea. Um, yeah, we haven't done a driveway that big and that complicated for quite a while, but I really like how it turned out and the customers are really happy. So that's about it. I'm getting high off of the fumes from that sealer right now. Oh, I'm not going to do the chocolate milk because it's not the end of my day. I have to run and set up a big garage slab that we're going to be pouring next. Don't know if I'm going to show you that for the next episode or not. I've got some other interesting large jobs coming up. But if you're just finishing a long, hard day of work yourself, 
why don't you have a nice ice cold bottle of chocolate milk for me? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.